there was public humiliation and global castigation of a black woman. While the clerk, a white man who presided over a white government, got a peace prize, a stage, and global acknowledgement. A beautiful drama demonstrating a legacy of untreated trauma from an oppressive system suffered by Africans was performed. On Tuesday at Webster University, Esther Ama, the CEO and founder of the Ama Institute of Emotional Justice, launched her book titled Emotional Justice, a Roadmap for Racial Healing, which unveils how colonialism has wounded many African countries. Who was a date in Ghana's history? And it was often discussed signaling the end of a presidency, the end of Kwame Nkrumah's presidency. But when uh, my mother shared the story of what happened within our family, the night those tanks came, it transformed how I thought about history. It made me think specifically about how that date impacted me, impacted my own family, and it impacted a nation in ways that we had not necessarily engaged. Esther Ama explained that the spiraling prices of goods and services are as a result of the untreated emotional trauma we inherited from colonialism. According to her, the trauma can be healed by restructuring the way of thinking as a people. The reality is our fiscal economy, the spiraling prices of everything from food to rent to electricity, is connected to the untreated trauma from colonialism. What does that mean? It means that a, a healed people center the best for their own identity, their own African identity. So that means that Kube won't be six cities, 50 peswas. It means that Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire would be the chocolate capital of the entire world. It means that we would construct, build, create, and add value to our own um, resources as rich as we are. She believes this can be addressed through deliberate programs including the redesign of the year of return to bring Africans in the diaspora to their roots. The year of return is crucial to emotional justice because it begins, it is part of an ongoing journey of return. We should always remember that return did not start in 2019. We saw it in the um, presidency of Kwame Nkrumah where you saw people from all over the world travel to Ghana African Americans like Martin Luther King, um, Maya Angelou, Fannie Lou Hain, people traveling to, to Ghana and different African nations as part of an ongoing return. So 2019 is the latest iteration of a return that began many, many, many years ago. It should be celebrated as part of a continuum, not as something individual. Meanwhile, Krista Sanders Bob Toya, campus director at Webster University, Ghana, explained how harmful emotional trauma is to the development of a country. We need to look and dissect these issues. We need to dismantle racism. We need to talk about our students' position in the world and the contributions that they will later make in this world around these issues. Prince Owusu Answers report read to you.